Greetings Gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, Keith Floyd um, and today we're in Burgundy and we're going to do possibly the simplest thing ever so this could be a very short video. Right! I'm going to make a scallop of veal in a mustard sauce, possibly with some mushrooms. This is from episode 3 of Floyd on France where he finds himself for some unexplained reason cooking in the galley of a barge on the river Sone, I think. Um, and, you know, he's actually down below. So it's dark and dingy and he doesn't know where anything is. And it's, well, typical Floyd. Quick slurp. Before we start, a little lecturette about veal. Um, this is, as you probably know, it's beef from very young calves. In a dairy herd, the male calves are no good, they don't produce milk, and so uh, they would, you know, be shot at birth, practically. But there was a uh, veal industry, um, I, I don't know how or when this developed, but I do know when it was stopped. It involved the, the calves being placed in metal cages, basically, and they were so small that the calves couldn't turn round, and they were force-fed milk to make their flesh very, very pale. So that practice was banned in the UK in 1990 and in the, the rest of the EU in 2007. But since then, a different kind of veal industry has developed and it's, um, they, they're not in cages anymore. They're higher welfare. They're not force fed milk. And, and the milk is, is pink rather than white or red. Um, so they call it rose or rosé. And I have been quite keen to, to try this since, since I found out that veal is no longer the, you know, <laughs> the work of the devil. And you can get it from high-end supermarkets like Waitrose. Uh, I think some very large Tesco branches will sell it. I got mine from Marks and Sparks. It's not the thing I'm going to have every day because it was £33 a kilo. Um, so the, the 200 grams that I got were like seven, were exactly seven pounds, which is a huge amount of money for a very small amount of meat, so it better be good. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And here we go, a scallop de veal in mustard sauce, possibly with some mushrooms. All right, you probably spotted this is not veal. I'm going to do some new potatoes and green beans to accompany the veal. So I'm just, uh, Chopping the ends off these. <laughs> they would have been from our garden, except this is part of our bean crop. Good for now, really. Well, compost. And the spoon. These are pretty good. I'll just chop off, well, nothing really. <laughs> so I've got the bottom part of the steamer full of boiling water, and I'll pop these on top. And they can steam away for 10, 15 minutes. Right, because this all happened so quickly, I'm going to pre-cook the mushrooms. Let, let them rest until we need them. Um, so just uh, slice them. Clean any dirt off. There are people who will go insane if you let a drop of water touch them. I don't know quite why. It's just some people are predisposed to do that. So these, these, these are being pre-washed. Uh, very clean, very nice. Frying pan, some butter, some oil, some heat. Oh, we've put the mushrooms in, get them coated, and just let them gently saute for five minutes. We want the, we want them to kind of release their liquid. Right, the shrooms are nicely cooked. So take those out, leave the fat behind, and set those aside until we need them. Actually, I'm not too sure about this liquid. It will have water from the mushrooms in it as well. We'll melt another knob of butter and some oil in the pan. And when that's reasonably hot, we'll put the veal in. I'm a bit surprised that these, these are five tiny slices. I thought I would have two long pieces, but um, well, I haven't. I right, just put those in. I let them cook for one or two minutes each side for medium rare. Right, 
and then take them out and put them on a warmed plate and let them rest until you're ready for it. Now you want to deglaze the pan, which means to lift off the wonderful pan juices. In Floyd's video, he uses a thing called Marc de Bourgoin. And the whole thing's gonna be finished off with this wonderful Marc de Bourgoin, which is a kind of a very strong alcohol, sub-brandy sort of stuff made from the residue of the wine pressing. And in the book, he says you can use alternatively cognac or armagnac. I have neither of those things, so I'm just gonna use a glass of wine. Let that bubble away. And I forgot you should season the scallops with uh, some pepper. Well, you know, when you put them in the pan. Anyway, I forgot that, so too late now. Right, let's uh, add some cream or some creme fraiche. Try to turn the heat up a little bit. Just let the cream reduce somewhat, and then we'll add another blob of butter and some more pepper. Let's hoist some salt in there as well. A spoonful of Dijon mustard. Oh! Yeah, you can taste that. <laughs> now just chuck the mushrooms in. Yeah. And we're done. Time to plate up and have a taste test. There it is, our little dinner. <laughs> and we'll just dribble the sauce all over it. I think that looks a bit better than Mr. Floyd's. And in his video, he sprinkled it with some unnamed herbs, but I'm going to use Herbs de Provence. Less than that. And now, it's taste test time with Mrs. Keith Court! <laughs> All the way from France! I got away. Bonsoir! <laughs> Bonsoir, mes amis! <laughs> oh, this looks good. Uh-huh. Oh, this does look good. Uh-huh. Wow, how did you get the sauce that colour? Mustard. Mmm. Well, that works. It might be a bit more mustardy than... Have you got a... You decide. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mustardy. Mm. That's nice. I've not long got home, so I um, haven't quite sort of <laughs> settled down into evening off yet. So... Mm. Okay. Mm. I like that. Is that a mushroom I see in there? Yes, mushrooms in the sauce. <laughs> yeah, I've been... I've been across to France to see family and uh, oh, French markets are to die for and there is the mushroom man at the market that my, my sister goes to she likes the big chestnut mushrooms and unfortunately they were not to be had this week okay <laughs> mm. I don't know if it's because it's it's one of those things he does a video and then he photographs things and then we taste test them and this would probably have been wonderful hot. <laughs> it's a little bit chewy. <coughs> and we never mention that everything's stone cold by the time I get round to the taste <laughs> test. Yeah, I think I think it's a little bit chewy. What do you think? Um, no, I think it's okay. Mass massively overrated, and overpriced. All right. That is seven pounds worth of veal there. Wow. Um, so maybe we should have had it raw. Blanc. Anyway, for the vegetarians. I don't think we'll be having it again, but it's very, very <laughs> nice. Oh, it is nice. I shall happily eat that. Mm. Mm. Those potatoes, I think they're lovely. <laughs> Tuppence each from Aldi. Anyway. I do like a good car well, and a good mushroom. <laughs> ooh. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming home. You're welcome. <laughs> we we'll never we did miss you. <laughs> and um, see you next Oh, yeah. Oh, you remember. I did. See you next time. A demand. <laughs>